YouTube, here is another Blender tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how to add the soft body to your characters with an armature. So it is very useful if you have uh, ears, tails, uh, whiskers or you animating fish uh, like this uh, on these fins I applied the soft body. I was using two different methods of adding, adding a soft body. Here I'm using, um, as you can see, curves also. I didn't hide, hide them. This is a curve object uh, so um, uh, the curve uh, has a soft body the actual curves uh, curve has a soft body uh, and the curve is parented to the bones bones are having a spline IK and this mesh is parented to, the, to these bones with the spline IK but for the fins I've used a bit different method I've just added uh, another vertex group because it didn't just didn't work uh, with the curves so uh, for the fins, I've added um, another vertex group uh, with a, a weight of 1 for the whole body and for the fins about 0, 0.7 uh, and I added this vertex group here in a soft body here and here. So, but I'll show you everything. Uh, so, this is my fish. Uh, uh, here I also have another action. I like to uh, just move my bone behind this uh, camera and see how the soft body works. As you can see I'm just moving this root bone and I see how soft body works. Of course if I'm moving it too rapidly it uh, very like uh, very extreme but if I'm moving slowly and uh, during animation my fish is uh, doesn't uh, move too harshly from side to side or um, too extremely, so uh, it works okay for during animation. Uh, I also have in, have here another character. Here is a glowfly. Uh, let me show you quickly before we start. Uh, here is a little bit different um, situation because we have uh, our whiskers are pointing upwards here. Uh, if I hit play button. And I move it, as you can see, the whiskers are also moving. And this is, works mainly because of the changing to gravity settings. Uh, for such uh, whiskers that are pointing upwards, it's better to use um, uh, gravity zero. Uh, and I have here a firefly fly animation as well. So, as you can see. Uh, how to delete these bones so I can show you how everything works sometimes it's very glitchy when you work with a soft body curves and spline I case but you have to practice it a lot and it will work finally uh, now I will hide this one and I'll add the first bone shift a I will change uh, the mode to the octahedral so we see where is the uh, point of the bone and where is the uh, tail of the bone and where is the head. Okay, I'm scaling it here. Uh, change to left uh, also hydral mode. And uh, turn on snapping. Here it is. Uh, we need volume and we need median here. So now we can snap to the volume of this first whisker. Now I will extrude our second bone here. Extrude third bone, four bones, five bones. Six bones, and we can, as you can see, we have snapped everything nicely. I will uh, subdivide this last bone so we have a little bit more bones here. I'll go to the left uh, mode, uh, and now I will unhide the rest of the armature to parent this last bone to the head bone. Ctrl P, keep offset. Okay, guys, we are ready to add a curve now. So let's go to the object. 
I will place our cursor cursor somewhere um, somewhere here, uh, not at the beginning of the first bone, but here. Shift S cursor to select it. Shift A. I'll add a Bezier curve. I'll scale it down like so. Now I will shift S selection to cursor. So we'll snap the uh, handles of this curve to the bones. So I'll go to the bone. Uh, to the edit, uh, edit mode of the bones, shift S first to select it. I'll come back to the object mode, select the curve, uh, edit mode of the curve. I'll go and now shift S selection to cursor. Now the second uh, handle is snapped to that end of the our bone chain. I'll select the uh, curve again, uh, pressing A, W subdivide so we create this additional handle here let's snap this handle with the bones location again shift s uh, cursor to select it i'll select this shift s selection to cursor i'll subdivide of a curve even more so like this let's uh, go to the bones again, shift S first to select it. So we'll snap these additional handles. So, like so shift S selection to cursor. And let's go to this place. Shift S first to select it. And let's go to the curve. A selection to cursor. Okay, uh, the curve is snapped, and as you can see, we have uh, five uh, vertices, so five uh, subdivisions. So it will work uh, good when we will add a soft body to the curve, we will have enough subdivisions here. Now, uh, let's go to this bone. Shift S cursor to select it. And we have to snap the origin of this cursor now uh, to this place. Uh, so let's snap the origin. Origin to 3D cursor. Now Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale for the curve. Now uh, what we will do, we will select the curve, select this bone here. We can use a hook modifier, sometimes it works better. Uh, to hook uh, this curve to this bone, but I think we also can use this feature just uh, Ctrl P and parent to the bone. Uh, there we go. Now uh, we are ready to go. Uh, let's select this curve, select this bone, this bone, select this curve, select this bone. And uh, what we'll do, Control shift c Spline IK. We are adding a Spline IK to that last bond now. Uh, change uh, subdivision, numbers of subdivision, and check Y stretch, use curve radius, and uh, check volume preservation. Uh, something weird happening, our yellow bond is uh, snapping to that point when it should be here. To change that, we will go to the Bezier curve, to the edit mode, uh, select our, uh, all of the points, W, switch direction. That's what we will have to do. Now, let's, uh, now we can see everything snapped to that location, it's good. Uh, I don't know why this is not connected. Uh, now I think it 
works. Uh, check chain offset if it's not connected there, uh, and pay attention uh, that we uh, that this um, dotted line goes uh, to this point. So we have two bonds behind left. And that's also where the uh, curve um, uh, origin is, is here. So this yellow line goes exactly to the curve origin as well. Uh, so let's check so far if it goes with it. It goes with it. Now let's try to add. Uh, soft body to the curve. So select Bezier curve and the soft body. And I will just copy the same settings from here. I will see what settings I was using for that another whisker here. 10, 05, 09. 10, 05, 09. And uh, I was using for the stiffness uh, this value for the default one. Um, this one should be uh, soft body edges checked, but everything left uh, as default. For the gravity 0 0.5. And uh, for the end of the animation, something well like this. And uh, cross your fingers and see if it works now. And it doesn't seem to be. I'll just go here and check what's going on. No, we don't use chain offset. Okay, hey, there we go. I think it works now. We don't need chain offset in this case. Yeah, glitch is happening sometime. Uh, if it's happening, uh, what you can do. So if it doesn't work and you see some glitchiness, just, just change slightly one of these values and you will get rid of any glitchiness that you see. Now uh, you can hide this one. And it works. Now for the fins, I was using a bit different technique. Uh, you will have to go to the. Uh, if I go to the weight paint here, and I go to that in the vertex groups. Okay, here it is. So uh, in the weight paint, uh, here you see how the weight painting is uh, assigned. So a little bit for this and for that one. So let's do that. I will delete this pin uh, vertex group. I'll select our body and uh, we go to the uh, actually go to the first keyframe. And what we'll do here. Uh, add this plus, name it fin. Uh, in my case, I'm naming fin. You can name it whatever name you like. Uh, and choose it. Uh, so I will select this one. I'll go to the wireframe. Just quickly select this and uh, for this one I would say 0, uh, 0.8 I don't remember quite what I was using and I press assign for this one uh, the same assign actually I'll go here and now I press Ctrl I and for this one I change weight to 1 and I press assign. Now if you go to the weight painting mode 
everything is sunk like that except we don't need any, any as you can see uh, blue paint here we don't need that so maybe I missed something here uh, so this one 0 0.8 should be a sign now let's go to the weight paint there we go we could also make it more accurately we could put place here and um, paint it uh, with a greenish here but I think it will work anyway so now let's go here uh, and uh, we will have to add the uh, soft body and place it below the armature I already added the soft body so you don't have to you just go to add modify and soft body uh, so and you will have to use these settings for the friction these values for the basically I think it uh, I was using everything uh, by default and for the gravity one Uh, stiffness, damping, as you can see, just copy this. Oh, I forgot about this vertex group, second vertex group, that's why it didn't work. Okay, uh, because uh, we have deleted that vertex group and made uh, again, so I should have checked this. Now it's not too bad. Okay guys, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments below this uh, video. Uh, if you have any problems, uh, if you facing any glitches or uh, it doesn't work for you, just ask me. And uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, see you next time.